Ever wondered where the future of iPhone screen sizes is headed? Will they keep expanding or take a turn towards compactness once again? As we all know, screen size plays a key role in the overall user experience. It's not just about the size, but the resolution, clarity, and how the screen size plays into the overall design and feel of the device. Today, we're setting our sights on the future, exploring the evolution of iPhone screen sizes and what we might expect in the coming years. We'll dig into the whispers about the yet-to-be-announced iPhone 16 and even the rumors surrounding the iPhone 17 expected to launch in 2025. Will Apple continue to supersize their devices or will they surprise us with a throwback to smaller, more compact screens? All intriguing questions that we'll be tackling in this deep dive. So join us as we journey through the evolution of iPhone screen sizes and what we might expect in the years to come. To understand the future, we must first look to the past. So, how did iPhone screen sizes evolve over the years? The iPhone's journey began in 2007 with the original iPhone boasting a humble 3.5-inch screen. Back then, a compact, easy-to-use device was all the rage. As time went on, however, consumers began to crave bigger screens for better viewing experiences. Enter the iPhone 5 in 2012, introducing a larger 4-inch display. This was a considerable leap from its predecessors, and it set a new standard for smartphones. Fast forward to 2004, and we saw the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus come onto the scene with screen sizes of 4.7 and 5.5 inches respectively. This was Apple's response to the increasing demand for larger screens, and it proved to be a game changer. In 2017, the iPhone X shook things up again with a 5.8-inch Super Retina display, eliminating the home button and introducing the infamous notch. This allowed for a bigger screen without increasing the overall size of the phone. The trend of growing screens continued with the iPhone XS Max in 2018 boasting a massive 6.5-inch display. Then, in 2020, the iPhone 12 mini tried to buck the trend by offering a compact 5.4-inch screen, aiming to satisfy those yearning for a smaller, more manageable device. But it seems the allure of big screens is too strong to resist. The iPhone 15 Plus, the current generation model, boasts an expansive 6.7-inch display, catering to those who want a mini tablet in their pocket. From the original iPhone's humble 3.5 inches to the iPhone 15 Plus's expansive 6.7 inches, we've seen quite a transformation, but what's next? The future of iPhone screen sizes is a fascinating topic with rumors pointing to even bigger screens for the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max. But we'll have to wait and see what Apple has in store for us. Stay tuned for the next scene where we delve into the anticipated changes for the iPhone 16. While the iPhone 16 hasn't been announced yet, rumors are already swirling about its screen size. As we dive into the world of speculation and tech gossip, it's clear that Apple is not one to rest on its laurels. The tech giant is always pushing the boundaries and this year's iPhone 16 is no exception. With the release date inching closer, rumors are pointing towards a significant change in the screen size. The grapevine is buzzing with whispers of slimmer bezel borders. Now, what does this mean for you? Well, a slimmer bezel means more screen real estate. The bezel, for those who may not know, is the frame around the screen. By reducing the size of this frame, Apple is essentially expanding the display. So we can anticipate a larger, more immersive viewing experience all wrapped up in the same sleek iPhone body we've grown to love. But that's not all. The rumors also suggest that we might be looking at larger displays. Now we've seen Apple experiment with screen sizes in the past, who can forget the compact iPhone mini or the expansive iPhone Pro Max? But this time, it seems Apple is planning to go big across the entire range. So what does this mean for the average user? Imagine watching your favorite shows or playing the latest mobile games on a larger, more immersive screen. Or perhaps you're more into photography. A larger screen would provide a bigger canvas for editing those perfect shots. But let's not forget, these are all rumors at this stage. Apple has a knack for keeping its cards close to its chest. So, as exciting as these changes sound, we'll have to wait and see if they materialize. So, we might see bigger screens in 2024, but what about the following year? Stay tuned as we delve into the anticipations and speculations about the screen size of the iPhone 17 in our next segment. For now, let's keep our fingers crossed for a bigger, better iPhone 16. The iPhone 17 expected in 2025 is rumored to take a different approach to screen size. With the whispers in the tech world, it seems like Apple is up to something different for their upcoming model. As per the buzz, 
The iPhone 17 Plus is likely to come with a smaller screen than its predecessor, the iPhone 15 Plus, which boasted a 6.7-inch display. Now, this might raise a few eyebrows, considering Apple's recent trend of going bigger and bolder with their screens. As per the well-known supply chain analyst Ross Young, the iPhone 17 Plus might be set to break this trend. The word on the street is that Apple might be trying to bring back the compactness in their premium range. This is a fascinating turn, given that this year the tech giant is expected to increase the screen sizes of the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max models with slimmer bezels and larger displays. So it seems like Apple is constantly experimenting, trying to strike the perfect balance between size, functionality, and user comfort. Remember the iPhone mini? Launched back in 2021, it was a smaller model that earned rave reviews, particularly for its one-handed usability. The critics loved it, but Apple switched to larger entry-level phones with the iPhone 14 line in 2022. With the iPhone 17, Apple seems to be rethinking its strategy again. In the current lineup, we have a set pattern, with an entry-level iPhone at $799, a larger entry-level iPhone Plus at $899, and then the Pro level at $999 with larger Pro Max versions starting at $1,099. But it seems that the tech giant is not afraid to shake things up, so after expanding, Apple might be considering going smaller again. But why? It's a question that's got the tech world buzzing and it's something that we will delve into as we continue to explore the future of iPhone screen sizes. The answer might just surprise you, so stay tuned as we navigate this exciting journey into the future of Apple's screen size strategy. So, why does screen size matter so much? Why would Apple consider changing it again? Well, screen size plays a pivotal role in shaping the user experience. A larger screen can offer a more immersive viewing experience, making it ideal for watching videos or playing games. On the flip side, a smaller screen can be easier to handle and navigate with just one hand, making it more user-friendly for those always on the go. Apple's consideration to adjust screen sizes isn't a random decision, it's a strategic move to cater to the varied needs and preferences of their diverse user base. Whether it's the professional seeking a larger canvas for their creative work, or the everyday user who values convenience and portability, Apple is listening, and let's not forget, a change in screen size can also mean more room for other components, possibly enhancing the device's overall performance. Whether large or small, Apple's screen sizes have always aimed to provide the best user experience. So, what does the future hold for iPhone screen sizes? As we've explored, the evolution of iPhone screen sizes has been a journey of innovation and adaptation. From the early days of the 3.5-inch display to the current 6.7-inch behemoths, what we can glean from Apple's history is that change is the only constant. This year we're expecting larger displays on the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max, with slimmer bezel borders. Then in 2025, rumors suggest a smaller screen for the iPhone 17 Plus. The screen size of an iPhone is not just about aesthetics, it's also about functionality, usability, and meeting the diverse needs of consumers worldwide. The future of iPhone screen sizes may be uncertain, but rest assured, Apple will continue to push boundaries and experiment. After all, that's what they do best. Only time will tell where iPhone screen sizes are headed, but one thing's for sure, Apple will continue to innovate and surprise us. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks for watching.